Hey, this is Dylan Brandon with DylanBrandon.com, and I've got a tutorial for you today. Um, to start off with, I'm sure a lot of you already know about the Twitch Plays Pokemon. Uh, basically, it's a Twitch stream playing a uh, Pokemon game, and uh, the people in the chat play it. So right now there's 32,000 or so people playing one Pokemon game. So you have all of these commands coming through all at once and it's moving ash or red so it's Pokemon Red and uh, it can get pretty crazy there's uh, two different settings in the stream uh, Anarchy where every single request for a key or a button press is done and then there's Democracy which is the most common press is made so um, I'm gonna kind of show you how to do that today and it's not using this specific guy's script but it is still using Python and an IRC bot uh, for the chat client so it is made uh, let me go ahead and pause this here it's made by a person named Sunshine Kitty 5 and I'll go ahead and post the link to the github underneath the video but basically this person created a controller which goes based off of the incoming chats into the IRC bot and uh, the IRC bot itself and it controls the visual boy advance uh, emulator for the Pokemon game or whatever else you're playing on the Visual Boy Advance. Now, originally you had to download the controller and the IRC bot uh, separately and run it in two different uh, command prompt windows. But now uh, this is version 0 0.2, so it's more user friendly. And uh, so now you only have to download one thing, and it's a step by step guide. On getting it set up so just ask you some questions and it's pretty easy to set up so I'll show you how to do that now uh, first you have to install Python and PyWin32 depending on what bit your operating system is you'll download the correct one and then you'll get Visual Boy Advance and then you'll download and extract the files that he created which is the IRC bot and the controller which is built in so I've already downloaded everything so I'm not going to re-download it and I put it all into the Twitch Plays Pokemon Master folder which is what you download here and then I put the Visual Boy Advance folder inside of the folder that I downloaded from Sunshine Kitty 5 but basically after you put the Visual Boy Advanced in there, you don't have to put it in there, it's just easier to keep it all together. Uh, you go into the Twitch Plays Pokemon Master folder, there's a readme, didn't read it, it's on his uh, GitHub. But you go into the folder, and then you click Launch. And this is all detailed in his, uh, or her, I'm not positive, but how to use you put your game file which is the ROM that you downloaded for either Pokemon or whatever other game and you put it in this folder so in this case I have yellow and I have some game saves here and now that that's set up with the game inside the game folder you click launch and it gives you some nice prompts so host name and it clearly tells you if you're using it on Twitch then you type in irc.twitch.tv so I'll go ahead and do that. irc.twitch.tv. Enter. Port number. I should probably use 6667. I'll do that. And then your authentication token. Now this uh, you'll grab from twitchapps.com slash TMI. Uh, I don't want others to have my authentication token so I'll just do that really quickly I'm 
just give me a few seconds here. A few seconds. And thank you for sticking around for this. I probably won't edit this out because I'm trying to get this video up as soon as possible so others can enjoy this, but uh, just bear with me here. It won't let me copy and paste into the command prompt, unfortunately. Normally, I believe you can, but since this is a uh, Python script, for whatever reason, it won't let me. So this is the lengthiest part of getting this set up. If you watch my previous video, I, you'll know that my headset turns off when there's no audio coming through it. So, again, I'm sorry about that. But... Alright, I've got that set up. And I'll go ahead and uh, blur out the authentication token. <laughs> from myself there but it'll say bots username so this is uh, basically what the IRC bots name is going to be whenever it enters things into the twitch chat and it's not really going to put much in it just the fact that it's connected it'll echo back to the twitch chat so you can know that everything's working properly so I'll just put it as my twitch username And uh, next is the name of the application you run the file from. So the ROM from, uh, if Visual Boy Advance, then use that with no spaces. So Visual Boy Advance. Enter. Use the name of whose channel you're connecting to. maximum number of lines in the commands.txt so there is a text document here that will take down what commands are put in the chat and it will update as the IRC bots running so if it crashes for any reason you want to know uh, what was last said maybe that was the issue then you can check in the commands uh, text document there so I'll go ahead and just put 100 because it will take it. And uh, I thought this was pretty funny. Oh, how to explain this. You get the chat command left. You are currently facing right. If quick press is true, you turn left. If quick press is false, you turn left and move one square left. So basically, if it's true, then ash or red or yellow in my case is just going to turn left but not move at all if it's false you turn left and move a space left so I'm just gonna make it true because just in case if anybody wants that accuracy of a quick press then they can do that and uh, what I talked about earlier there's anarchy and democracy anarchy Every command is taken. Democracy, the most common one, is taken. So I'm going to go with democracy. Even if there's not many viewers, it'll seem like it's anarchy, but once more people get in there, uh, the majority will be taken. So I am going to put democracy. And then takes most said command every X amount of seconds. So must be an integer. I'm going to do three seconds. Uh, it's up to you, whatever your preference is on it. And then it's starting Pokemon Yellow, and you should hear it in a moment. Yeah, so here's Pokemon Yellow. 
but I will close out of it. So uh, we got all of that set up. And there's some uh, names of the last people that were in my stream. We'll go ahead and click X on this for now. And then you can go back and edit your settings in the text document so you don't have to go through that step-by-step uh, -step process every time, which is nice. But in order to run this properly, you want to go to uh, back over to the GitHub and it gives some additional instructions. Uh, open CMD prompt and navigate to where you extracted the folder. So basically this folder right here where the launch uh, Python file is at. So I'm going to go ahead and go to CMD I'm going to run as admin. And I'm going to find where I have the launch file. Copy that. Go back to the command prompt. Navigate to where I have the launch.py. And you can do that by cd space. And then you can paste in where that file is. Click enter. You're navigated there. And then it says to type in chcp space 65001 and press enter. And this apparently fixes encoding issues with Twitch. And you need to run that each time that you pull back up your stream and IRC bot. So chcp space 65001. So the active code page is 65001. And then you type in launch.py to start the script. And it will also bring up the uh, emulator and the game that you chose to play. So we'll do that. Launch.py, enter. And then it also gives you a choice for anarchy or democracy. So uh, you kind of have some variables every time that you pull this up, but it'll be democracy. At least that's my choice. And you click enter and then the seconds again. So I chose three, so I'm going to do that again. Starting yellow. And it pulls up. Don't hold Visual Boy Advance or it'll pause and freak out on you. Alright, well that is how you get all of that set up. You can uh, change how it looks in OBS. Uh, since I'm currently using the software to record clearly, it would be fairly difficult for me to show you how to set it up there, but uh, let's see if I can uh, show you a little something here. Just give me one second. Okay, so you can't see me anymore, but you can see how it's set up here. As you can see, there is the chat window on the right, which is a little bit small right now. And now it is bigger, so that will go all the way down to the bottom. And then uh, Pokemon is set, the Visual Boy Advance, for some reason it's just black. And you have to go back into the sources and right click and click properties. And it should already say that it's chosen, but you just have to click apply again. Not sure why it does that, it's just a little twerk that I found, I guess. And give me a moment to do that. It should say Visual Boy Advance. Click OK, and then it pops up. So this is pretty similar to what the original Twitch Plays Pokemon uh, looks like, but I just have my website logo and then HC Lucky and then little Pikachu running there since I'm playing Pokemon Yellow. But uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll post all of the links to uh, the sources. And again, 
full credit to how to do this goes to Sunshine Kitty 5 on GitHub. I, I just did a lot of research, did some digging and found this, and uh, was blessed that this guy or girl uh, had this done. And uh, I hope you guys have as much fun with it as I did. So, uh, again, feel free to subscribe, take a look at my website, dylanbrandon.com, or uh, follow my Twitch, which will be in the description below. Uh, peace out.